All right, good day, welcome everybody. Welcome any newcomers, all right? Never know what's gonna come up on my channel. I don't even have time to know what they're gonna be about. I just kinda go with the flow, go with the vibes, all right? So feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and share button, all right? We're gonna do chakras here for the sign of Virgo, all right? These are general, all right? So let's see what we have for the Virgos. All right, for Virgo. My channel is all about growth, all right? When you grow, you don't need all these other stupid love readings that are just going to lead you down a rabbit hole, all right? That's not going to get anywhere, okay? It's like not even a rabbit hole. Just like It's like you're going to stay stuck because when you fixate too much on love, you aren't paying attention to all the little things that you're supposed to be working on yourself, all right? A lot of people think it's so easy just to, oh, say, do this, do that, but there's way more to that, all right? So focus on growth first. I do do love readings at times. It just depends. Virgo, we've got the children, the third eye and the heart chakra, Kunzanite. Interesting. Some of you have children that have a third eye that needs help with is what I'm really getting because we got the number 22. So we have the courage and the moon cycles. Interesting. Protection. You need to teach your children, Virgo, to protect themselves, all right, using the obsidian. You have to protect that um, root chakra, all right, because I feel like they have a very powerful mind. They're in tune with the moon cycles, the crown chakra, the throat. All right, what I'm kind of getting here is encourage your children, all right, with the aquamarine, the courage card here. What I'm really getting here is to encourage your children, all right, help them find the courage here to understand what is going on with them, all right? So some of you have children that have a third eye that is going to be activated. So Kunzanite is going to be key here, all right? It's gonna affect their third eye, their intuition, their heart chakra. Show them courage and speak courageous words that are authentic. But they are in tune with their moon cycles. We got here the two of pentacles. So I feel what's going on with this here is there is a balancing back and forth with that two of pentacles. They're adapting to these changes, all right? And while they're adapting to these changes, Virgo, you need to teach them to balance their decision making so they can know how to make the proper decisions, all right? Teach them about flexibility. Teach them about stretching their resources. And that resources are abundant. Teaching them to adapt. All right? Adapt to their gifts. Adapt to balancing their gifts. All right? We got the lovers here. Okay? Courage. I'm getting more with the lovers of connecting with their higher self and their spirit guides, all right? And that's why it's very important to teach them the protection when it comes to this um, higher self that they're going to be tapping into. Because anybody that is got a calling and has like rare gifts that not everybody has, they, they can be like prone to psychic attacks, negative energy, because they're like a beautiful energy. All right, so teach them how to protect themselves. Because I feel like they're coming into balance. They're coming into union, unity with their higher self. All right, and I'm kind of getting like a feminine energy here with, yeah, the Hisa Wands here these moon cycles the moon cycles are going to be of significance when it comes to your crown chakra all right 
So carry Moonstone when you're on your moon time. Every time you shed, you renew yourself. All right, with that Ace of Wands. I feel like during moon time is when you're going to be the most powerful. That's when you're going to have that spark really hit. I feel like the minute they hit their moon cycle is when you're really going to start seeing this all unfold here. All right, that's when this spark is going to spark. It's a new initiative the minute they hit this moon cycle. So teach them about this energy. All right, how to use their mind wisely. So let's get an outcome here for the Virgos. They're coming into a new cycle. They're maturing. We've got the Queen of Cups here. All right, so they're empaths. You need to teach them to move on from things that aren't good for them. It's that protection. Because good things are going to be gifted to your children. All right? You're teaching them what their purpose is. They're high priestess, high priestesses. Teaching them how to be successful in their gifts. A lot of restless mental energy. But what I'm getting the most is you're a very caring, loving, nurturing mother. Very intuitive yourself. Very sensitive yourself very emotional so I feel like you have the ability to be able to help guide your child or children along this journey what better than to have the Queen of Cups as your mother all right so I'm gonna leave that there Virgo these are just uh, short simple quick reads if you want a personal reading just put it down in the comment section all right have a good day